Africa's richest man, Aleko Dangati, established and chairs Dangati Cement, the continent's largest cement company. He was born in Kanano, Kano State, Nigeria. Through a holding company, he owns 85% of Dangati Cement, which is publicly listed. He also has holdings in publicly listed salt and sugar industries. As a result, Mr. Dangati's entry into the oil refinery industry should come as no surprise. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Africa is home to 30% of the world's mineral reserves, 8% of the world's natural gas reserves, and 12% of the world's oil reserves. The continent has 40% of the world's gold and up to 90% of its chromium and platinum reserves. Crude oil from the Niger Delta region is classified as light or comparably heavy, the lighter being approximately 36 gravity and the heavier being 20 to 25 gravity. Nigeria, Africa's largest oil and gas producer, is a major exporter of crude oil and petroleum products to the United States. Nigeria shipped approximately 1 million barrels per day to the United States of America in 2010, accounting for 9% of total U.S. crude oil and petroleum product imports and more than 40% of Nigeria exports. On July 18, 2008, the Good Luck Jonathan government introduced the petroleum sector bill in response to the need for holistic changes in the petroleum industry, ease of doing business, and development of local content in the industry. Oil and gas exports contributed for more than 98% of export profits and about 83% of federal government income in 2000, as well as more than 14% of GDP. It also accounts for 95% of foreign exchange profits and around 65% of government budgetary income. The United States Energy Information Administration, EIA, estimates Nigeria's known oil reserves to be between 16 and 22 billion barrels, although other sources suggest there might be as much as 35.3 billion barrels. Nigeria is the 10th most petroleum-rich country in the world and by far the most prosperous in Africa, because to its reserves. Its crude oil output averaged approximately 2,200,000 barrels per day in mid-2001. Mr. Aleko Dangati must surely be aware of all these before venturing into petroleum business. The Dangati refinery, which is being built in Lekki, Lagos State is on track to become Africa's largest oil refinery and the world's largest single train facility. In September 2013, Nigerian business magnate Aleko Dangati revealed plans for the refinery, announcing that he had secured $3.3 billion in finance for the project. At the time, the refinery was expected to cost around $9 billion, with the Dangati Group investing $3 billion in commercial loans covering the rest, with production beginning in 2016. However, due to a shift in site to Lekki, building of the refinery did not commence until 2016, with excavation and infrastructural preparation and completion was pushed back to late 2018. The refinery's major structural construction began in July 2017, and Dangati expected it to be mechanically complete in late 2019 and operating in early 2020. According to Reuters, which cited anonymous sources familiar with the project, construction was likely to take at least twice as long as Dangati had previously stated, 
with partial refining capability not expected until 2022 at the earliest. According to current estimates, the project will now cost $15 billion in total, with $10 billion going toward the refinery. When fully operational, the facility will have the capacity to produce 50 million liters, 13 million U.S. gal, of gasoline and 17 million liters, 4,500,000 U.S. gal, of diesel per day, in addition to aviation fuel and plastic products. The Dangati refinery's output capacity somewhat exceeds that of large oil refineries such as Aramco's Ras Tanura plant, the country's largest refinery with a production capacity of 550,000 barrels per day. The Dangati refinery will be rated second in the United Arab Emirates, after the Abu Dhabi oil refining company's Ruwais refinery. In Iran, the Dangati refinery will outperform the country's largest refinery, the Abadan refinery, which has a capacity of 450,000 barrels per day. The refinery also outperforms large European refineries operated by well-known oil corporations such as ExxonMobil, ONV, Royal Dutch Shell, Total SA, and Vidal, but is surpassed by Russia's JSC Antipinsky refinery, which has a capacity of 896,500 barrels per day. Dangati's refinery appears to be fairly formidable in northern and Central American nations as well. Back in West Africa, Dangati's refinery accounts for over half of the stock market capitalization of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, accounting for around 48% of the value. The refinery dwarfs all equities valued more than a trillion dollars, including MTN, Aero Nigeria, BUA Cement, and Nestle Nigeria. Mr. Dangati's refinery accounts for 72% of the entire value of the stocks valued more than a trillion dollars. When compared to Nigeria's top-tier banks, such as First Bank of Nigeria, Zenith Bank, Access Bank, and United Bank of Africa, Dangati's refinery outperforms their total market value by 389%. Dangati Refinery will be Africa's fifth largest corporation, dethroning Anglo-American Platinum, the world's largest primary producer of platinum. The company's output accounts for about 38% of the world's yearly supply and is presently valued at $13 billion. The refinery's efforts in the oil and gas business are reflected in its remarkable global ranking of number 30, surpassing an Austrian multinational integrated oil, gas, and petrochemical firm, OMV. The refinery is doing well in America, competing with the likes of Domino's Pizza, which has a net worth of $18.1 billion, United Airlines, which has a net worth of $16.9 billion, GameStop, which has a net worth of $15 billion, American Airlines, which has a net worth of over $13.6 billion, McAfee, which has a net worth of $12 billion, and Western Union, which has a net worth of $9.4 billion. Dangati Refinery will be rated third or fourth in the United Kingdom. When completed, the Dangati Refinery would be Africa's biggest refinery, the continent's fifth largest corporation by market value, and the world's largest single train refinery, elevating Nigeria's position in the global crude oil refining industry. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.